In this video, I'll demonstrate an easy way to export a VMware virtual machine to an OVA template file using PowerCLI. First, a little background on OVF and OVA templates. When exporting VM templates from the vCenter web GUI, a Folder of Files OVF is the default chosen option. The .ovf file is like an index configuration file in an XML format that tells vSpinner all the specifications and component files of the VM template. OVAs are more like zip files for VM templates in that it's a single file that contains other files. This makes it a bit easier to transfer and store the VM template outside of vCenter. From vSphere 6.5 and newer, VM templates can only be exported in OVF format from the vCenter web GUI, which is why I'm using PowerCLI for this demonstration. Before I can begin working with vCenter, I'll first need to install PowerCLI. From my computer, I'll open PowerShell's administrator and install the VMware PowerCLI module from the PowerShell gallery by typing install-module vmware.powercli because this is my first time using a PowerShell module on this computer, I need to allow the execution of the module I've just installed. For lab purposes, I'll set the policy to unrestricted. I'll then opt out of the Customer Experience Improvement Program for all users. And since my vCenter lab has a non-trusted SSL certificate, I'll also need to set PowerCLI to ignore invalid certificates. Now all the prerequisites are filled, I can connect to vCenter. Store the vCenter credentials in a variable using the get-credential command. Then, connect to the vCenter server using the credentials variable. The command that I'll be using to export the VM to an OVA template is export-vapp. Since the VM parameter type requires a VM object type, we need to use get VM before I can export. The two VMs that I want to export to a template are named WS19C, which is Windows Server 2019 Core, and WS19D with desktop experience. To export a single VM, I can simply assign a single VM to a variable, then use the variable with the export vup command. Verify that the VM variable is the correct type. Now everything is in place, I can export the VM to the OVA template. A quick control space keyboard shortcut will show me that the VM parameter can take an array of objects as input, as indicated by the double brackets. This means that I can export multiple VMs to templates with a single command. That concludes the video on how to use PowerCLI to export a VMware virtual machine to OVA template. Thank you for watching. I hope you learned something.